Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I'm joined by Mutanot for some Total War cooperative campaign action. That's right, he's going to play as the one of the guys I don't actually have, the clan of Angrund. Hello, Mutanot. Angrund! He's wow, going to be a dwarf. A, uh, that's a freaky looking whatever that is to the left of our screen. Oh, yes, that the giant big guy, the tree man over there. No, yeah. okay, I see something different then. Oh, the guy, oh, yeah, it's because I'm the wood elves and you're that guy. Okay. And I'm going to play the Wood Elves this time, guys and gals, as opposed to the Treant Ent type guy, because folks are like, you should play, since you like the ranged people, you should play as the ranged people. I'm like, hey, you know what, that's smart, I should, you're right. So, we're going to give it a shot, we'll see how the co-op is. We played around with it just briefly, a few turns, and it's pretty much what we expected with Total War. So, again, if you guys don't know, Total War is by the Creative Assembly and Sega, and we're about to start the campaign. A few hundred turns. Or a few thousand. You know, whatever. It's fine. Which is about what you need on some of these long mode campaigns. Yeah. That's going to be a, a lengthy uh, experience. Now, what is your favorite group that you've played around with so far? Because you've had the game for about, what, a week? Week and a half? Yeah, like I've tried the vampires. And I like them, but the, it's gonna it would be a slugfest to try and do anything with them. Because they're so isolated. The dwarves are definitely the easiest. Um, I still don't. I've not found the gyrocopter to be as amazing as you say. I did build more of them. They're a little bit cool. They just seem uh, to turn the tide when things are going normal, and then all of a sudden they come swooping in. Like uh, the, the dwarves are definitely easy. You just build dwarven units. They're hardy, and you slam them against the other people. <laughs> I like the vampire spells a lot more uh, than the dwarves as far as like the hero fighting seems to be cooler than the dwarves. And on the humans, I didn't get far enough along to, to know. They're, they're good, well-rounded. I mean, they're fun. I don't know if they'll be my favorite. Okay, and you haven't really tried the green skin yet, huh? I haven't tried the green. Just those three so far. Okay. Dwarf's definitely an easy race, and that's what I'm... Well, I'm starting as the hardest dwarf race. I'm one of the expansions here. Holy crap, I got like five heroes. Look at that. You do? Dramar, Hammerfist, King Lun, oh, Iron right Hammer. There. Wow. Are they stat... Are they ghosts? They look like uh, ghosts. They, on my they do kind of look like ghosts. That's interesting. Huh. Yeah. Curious. Is it? Is it's my turn, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which okay, is good because so I, I have no idea what I'm doing yet because I did not start as this dwarf. Fun. Oh, we, there, okay. There's my army with uh, Orion. I don't know where I need to start or what I should be doing. Should, is there like a specific focus we should be going like? I sort of want to go and claim more of my own lands, but I can I tell you, don't think that's the play. Guardian of the deep wood. Uh, the 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 vassals, the kingdoms to your left, mm -hmm. are pretty independents. the The main group of uh, the kingdom is north of you, and then Weisland is a pretty large group. But all the earth Stalking. kingdoms to the left are like individual city states almost. So they'll be pretty easy pickings, and probably won't have allies. Okay, and we have. Uh... We're close enough that we should be able to trade, is that correct? We're like touching each other basically. Maybe, we probably gotta kill Broken Nose first. We're border I think there's a pass through the mountains there. Um who are what are you again? I am Clan Angrund. Clan okay, there you are on the map. Let's see here. Step forth, true friend of the Angrund clan. Let's see. Not aggression pact, fine, payments. It doesn't look like you can do trading yet. Yeah, we're, I don't think we're touching close enough yet. Okay. And I don't know if there's anyone else. Uh, if I kill this crack guy to my left, that'll probably t make us touch. That sounded weird. It, do, it does sound a little bit weird. Military make a touch! Access, we'll just, cannot trade. Why can we not trade? I, I don't I don't think there's... Because that, that crack boofdar is in the way. Yeah, but usually it tells you why. Like, let's say there's no trade route. Route from their capital cannot be established. These just say cannot trade. Maybe I can't trade with you at all. Maybe we don't like dwarves. We don't like the stunties. Yeah. Ugh. It's fine. Darn you dwarves. Alright, so I need to figure out what I want to do. Although you've got dwarves directly to your east there with Grimhold, Kraknom. Yeah, you know what? You might be right. You might be the uh, Krak Boofdar might be in our way. Darn you Boofdar. Alright. So I am going to, I 
guess. Like, I don't know where I should be heading right now. I think I'm going to go ahead and try to recruit some more troops. I think that's going to be my play. Yes. A Glade Guard, two of those, and an Eternal Guard. The Eternal Guard has more armor. He's Spear Infantry, whereas these are Missile Infantry. Okay, so we'll get a Spear Infantry and then we'll... Can I cancel that guy? There we go. Alright. Oh, I like that. I've got an ale store. I think I'm good to go. Alright, it is now time for Mutanat to make his play. So can you control the little weird ghost guys? Um... I guess you're about to find out. Yeah, it looks yeah. like one's got a uh, an anvil over his head. It is time. Uh, well, this guy's a thane. He's so a runesmith. He's gonna. Uh, I'm able Do to embed him. So. Oh, there. Those are uh, actual like different hero type people. They're not actual army general guys. Yeah, they're, okay. they're like the, the spies yes. and generals. Like the thanes you. are the ones that that train well, my army while they're in done. the army. You have a master engineer, and then you have the. Uh, the runesmith. So you have two things? Lord of the Angrund. Apparently. Melee specialist and what is the other one? This? The other one just says Thane. I don't know, I've got Lund like seven of them. It's freaking me out. I don't know what all the all of them do. You have hammers, you have two dwarf warriors, you have some miners. What are the miners? Pickaxe infantry. Armored armored piercing, good against gates, okay? Then you have some rangers. How do you have rangers? Are they dwarves? Fast for a dwarf. Yeah, they are. That's interesting. That must Darn be it. unique to that group. I don't remember seeing those before. Yeah, let's see. This guy, embed hero, knock down, sabotage, assassinate. Okay, so he's good at assassinations. Who, who's Vicious Gobspit? Is that a... Uh, oh, Skull Take. That must be a green skin group. Runesmith does oh, magic. Master Engineer is mostly... Can't do heavy lifting yet. He blocks magic and he assassinates. Can the Thane assassinate too? For clan honor. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Well, very interesting start, to be sure. So you guys get to see something different. Some new stuff that you probably haven't seen before in the... Uh... In the game, if you don't have all the DLC, I'm still missing two things from the DLC. I believe that's it. And did you, you didn't get everything. You got most of it, right? You're missing what, like the Beastmen and the. I'm missing some of it, yeah. I think, yeah. So neither one of us have everything, but we're still able to play together with the various different things that we have and don't have. Like I don't have the thing he has. I, he doesn't have the thing I have. It's, it's cool. Ambush. How much movement do I need of that? So, is the ambush really worth it? Well, the, the, the darn... I've got that stupid uh, troll guy, the green army, skull, the skull takers, Yeah. that if you don't kill them, they just run around forever, and the second you leave your base, they attack you. Gotcha. So, so you, you have to take gonna... them out. So you're going to try to ambush maybe. there, huh? What about going underground and attacking? Uh, I already used too many movements, I think, because uh... I added these people to my army. Yeah generally, you, more men. yeah, generally you can't recruit... Oh, you mean the, the extra guys you threw in? Yeah. So generally you can't recruit without... Or recruit and then move, so... Yeah, I'm seeing that. I hate the fact that I've got my sparring chamber, my main city. That's the one military building in the dwarves that you don't want to build in your main city. Because you can... It only goes up to a tier 3 castle. Yeah, yeah I, know. I know how that goes. So it's a waste. A lot, so many of your other buildings you can only build in the capital city. Oh, you know city. what? I totally forgot to build a building of mine. It's okay. Awkward. I, I think there was a problem that I uh, I was sitting there going, there's something I'm not doing, and that's what it was. Oh, this one generates income. Okay, I, I have one that... I was playing as a different group, and I swear I didn't have a, a building that generated income, so... I'm going to add that one in there. I should have gotten that first thing, guys and gals. Generating income early on is very important, and it goes all the way up to the final tier five, actually, this one. With a this winery. guy has, has orc boys. Yeah. Just sounds classy. It, well, it is. It is classy. Well, Wonderful by golly. Palace. I feel like you got way more cities than me. I have one. Oh. And then the Tree Thank of Life is a thing that you have to, like, keep protected. It's not actually a city. Uh, Azrae... Maybe that? Azra, the Oak of Ages, you mean? Through, yeah. Drucci. That's why I couldn't attack it. 
Carried by elegantly hewn ships, our cousins have traveled from the distant lands of Ulthuan. Look, oh boy, I love this stuff. Ulthuan, I guess, to visit us. After so many long years, they have finally uh, deigned to visit their forced brethren. Is this a gracious visit or an omen of arrogance? Do you consider this a slight or a blessing? Will you grant them an audience with the Elven Council? Uh, let them see. We will get income from trade agreements, which we don't have, but we'll lose public order. Or we can deny them and we get nothing bad. Deny. You will not see us. All right, let's take a look at our quick, uh, real quick, uh, what our group is here that we have. We have the Eternal Guard. They are shield units, and they are pretty epic. Uh, we have Way Watchers, which are better forest infantry looking dudes with armor piercing missiles, which is nice. And a Master Ambusher. We have some Deepwood Scouts, which are forest stalkers, vanguard deployment, and Master Ambushers as well. We have Wild Riders, which is melee cal cavalry, and we have flying missile cavalry as well with our Hawk Riders. So we're kind of a big deal. I'm just saying. Yeah. Kind of a big deal. Alright, so let's get our um, finances taken care of here. And, yeah, we have the same thing. We have one of our buildings that is uh, Tier 3 as well. Now, what's strange or unique about the elves is it looks like you only have one town per settlement. Which is, well, obviously odd, right? Ready to serve. Like, normally yeah. you have more than that. Agreed. I wonder if I can take that on or not. And it, it not. shows me that the the King's Glade is a settlement, even though you say it's not. You mean or the, the Oak of Ages? The yeah. Oak of Ages. Yeah. It's it's a thing that we can upgrade. But we what we get is we get this special resource called Amber, and we get it by like capturing different areas or raising them, I think. And we can upgrade it. And what it does is like it's tier one right now. Uh, reduction in vampiric and chaos corruptions, okay, provides uh, garrison of all these various random things, and then the next one provides us with more. It lowers our upkeep and gives us public order nationwide or faction wide. Tier 3, yes. more order, more upkeep, and enables the joint confederation diplomacy demand. And of course, the vampiric and chaos corruption. More, more, more hero recruit rank plus 3, and then finally. What's the last one we get? Looks like nothing else, just everything went up in Hero Recruit rank plus six. So it just gives us more stuff and it gives us a higher garrison in it. I still am not sure where I should be moving to though. I see there's a tree dude over there, Durthu. He's uh, probably walking off to the west over here. My upkeep is plus 50% until I capture Karak Eight Peaks. Well that's probably gonna be somewhat problematic, I would assume. I'm actually going to move back within my own borders here. Especially because I don't, I don't know where that is. Uh, wh what is it? Karak eight, 8 Peaks? I see Karak Hirn. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Karak... Boof or whatever, you have Isdor thingy majigler, Zordak, Mirdins, King's Glade, Grimhold. Right? Don't tell me it's on the all the all the way on the other side. I see As Asgaraz. What was the what was the second part of it? Rock Eight Peaks. Eight Peaks. Actually I think that is your I think that's the leader of the dwarves that you start it with if you're not those guys. Which no, would be far a... east. It says you do not control. Yeah. Oh jeez, it's gonna be a long march. Yeah, it's gonna be some fun. All right, hold on. Let me get my uh, my dude moving here, and then we'll I'll let you go and do some random stuff here. Apologize for the start, guys. We're trying to figure out how everything works. We haven't quite got it down yet. All right, end the turn, and it is now the mutanitation's turn. He... Oh, yeah, it's, uh... All the way to the east? Yep. Fantastic. That's not that far east, is it? It's pretty far east. Is Pull it over the by map. the green skins, or is it... Yeah. Oh, it is, okay. Over in those mountains. Oh, yeah, yeah. no, I think I've actually captured that place before. Well. On my green Darn skin it. campaign. 
Well, you're gonna have a leaner and meaner group. So you'll be expanding east. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna plan on taking out the people directly south of me to get my province here. This Vorak. Yeah, the Broken Nose oh, and no. Zaraxel. And then I guess probably Tilia just to be all the way up to the water. And then suck it, Border Princess! <laughs> Alright, back to my army. Where are we at? Oh, the Greenskins ran away. Hmm. Or they're hiding somewhere. Yeah, they probably are doing that. Right. Maybe I'll look for them with uh, Hulk. Halken half, Halken half Stonebeard. Gosh, the names, the names. Journeying on. Nah, I'm gonna go take out this settlement before they add more people while it's weak. And that's not a problem. Uh, that's a settlement. Yeah, it's not the, the capital. You have the capital, right? Yeah. Yeah. Got a decent sized army if they uh. In belts. I don't see him anywhere over here. Onward. Yeah, I see there's a... Yeah. The Crooked Moon group is up north of me. It's quite interesting, to say the least. Good old moon group. Well. Oh! Oh, fantastic! Already, that's one of my grudges is to capture that. This is ridiculous. <laughs> I've made a terrible mistake. You fool. You wondered why it was so hard. <sighs> oh, you drew on my map. Yeah, I did. Surprise! Alright, what you're gonna need to do is go here and then boom and hit them and then come around the backside. Sorry. Just so where are you stuff. marching your army to? I don't. West, I guess, because Durthu's going to attack Castle Karax something another over there, and I think I'm going to swoop in and try to try to help. Yeah, help or take? Well, win, like steal it before he can type situation. Yeah. Swoop, swoop, swoop. But I don't think I can make it in time now that I backed out. Kind of sucks. Make way. But if nothing else, at least I can come over here and stand nearby and look cool. Maybe I can uh, delay his army? I'm not sure. No, let's see. Where is my little guy? He's too far away. He won't be able to make it there in time. However, do I see any actual armies? There is an army over there. Legendary Lord. I'm going to try to slaughter somebody while I'm over there. Meanwhile, going back to the King's Glade, there's nothing to do here, so I guess I end my turn. A little bit of a quicker one, and we get to see you charge forward and do murder. Now, were you in your uh, your raiding stance there? Was that what you were in before? Uh, no, I was in the tunnel oh, to okay. get there faster. I'm not going to bother fighting these nerds, they're okay. just losers. Yeah, let me know so I can... Make sure I auto resolve. You lost actually kind of a large amount, granted, compared to what they lost. How is it they had so many more troops than you and you still crushed them? I have like four space ghost guys. <laughs> four Wait, space oh. ghost guys. Okay, for a second there it didn't update. I'm like, what? Huh? What? Yeah, you gotta keep in mind, like, a good chunk of my army are, are is, is ghost dwarfs, whatever that means. Which we do not, not know yet. The to upgrade my main guy. I want campaign movement. CC. So you found that that is one of the better things to go with. Lord of the uh, so, yeah, in the beginning you're not need to be able to march around and such. Yeah, it just lets you get to places quicker and not get outmaneuvered quite as often. This unit is consuming Amber. Good for her. Stop yes. eating people! No, it's fine. Or dwarf beer. Invent and carne. This allied settlement is supplying your faction with one amber. Oh, cool. Uh, check diplomacy if you haven't ended the turn yet. See if I you... haven't. I just it's it's uh it's depressing me every time I look at the fact that I go. To, there's even a giant warning in front of my head. Upkeep plus fifty percent until <laughs> you capture 
<laughs> the sooty. Yeah, it's like rubbing it in my face. That's pretty far away. Just march down there with your ghost army and, and raise the city. No, you have to capture it. It's no fun. If I thought that was a possibility... It would, would already have happened. <laughs> yeah, no one wants to trade with me. Except maybe you! Can you trade with me now? I say we should be... Nope, here. still nope. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be able to trade. Mm. We're, kind of, we're practically touching, so I don't know why we wouldn't be. Yeah, I mean, now. We're, we're border. Yeah, we're bordering each other, but maybe elves and dwarves don't trade. See, I, I, now I left my area, and I have minus four uh, public order, That's not and good. nothing bad has happened. You know, it's just like, hey, we hate your face. Suffer. Look, wow, this place I just captured extends my my border of the mountains a ridiculously length to the left. Like, it just looks strange. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. That's all the way over there. That is pretty weird. <laughs> those are my mountains. You see those crystals? I feel like we can travel them, I guess, so it kind of makes sense. No, I, Well, most people, like, green skins could. I probably would have struggles trying to do it with elves, Only but... me. You have a, right, crystal well. mine, a crystal mine all the way across the way, and there's also a skull carved into the mountain nearby. Which is creepy. Oh, Crooked Moon's fighting a dwarf guy. Oh, oh crap. Beastmen. Oh, is that what those are? Yeah. Well, I feel like if, uh... One way or the other, Castle Carcasson is gonna die. Yeah, but I'm gonna back away, and he can go and do whatever he wants to do alone. From Goodstock, the forest provides for those who do it great service. The lords and ladies of the realm of Athel Lauren, our chosen nobility, okay, provided for greatly by the spirits of the forest. Those who work in more insalubrious, I don't know what that is, capacities are still offered a sucker by the woods. For all, they're all the same important service to the realm. Hey, I got a bonus experience. Okay, that seemed like a very wordy way to say, here's a 3,000 experience, but I like it nonetheless. See, you had a fight to gain a level. I just gained a level because I'm awesome. Or they feel bad for me because I had to run away from my first combat. Probably the latter. Also, my where did the other giant level. tree guy go? He disappeared. And there's a dude over to the left, some sort of mystical guy who's casting weird shadow waves. Huh. Strange. Uh, I don't this... know, man. I got. I gotta tell you, I don't. I don't. Do I? Do I just go march to the east after I'd finished taking my profits? I don't know. Yes. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna head go. up to the Quell Quellinus or something, and it's a minor settlement. And I'm gonna try to take that over because, unfortunately, I don't really have any other way of doing much. To battle, we're going to war. You're joining oh, me, I think. Yeah, you kind of have to. Yeah. I mean, you, you can't not go to war, because you're never going to be able to take any provinces. And all the neutrals are considered, like, their own entity, so... Though that's kind of far north, like, why... Oh, oh, it is, okay, it's fine. Uh, hold on, I'm going to find my group. Is that... Protector there of the is. Forest. Protector of the forest! Like you a damage wall. Cool. I like your wild riders and your hawk riders. Yeah, I think they're going to be pretty fun. Okay. I haven't actually seen them in combat yet. But I think they're going to be quite good. Moving. Alright, so next turn I should be able to actually do battle, and yeah. And I think I can build something now, or upgrade something, maybe? Master Robin, you've lost your arms in battle. You lost your arms in battle, but you grew some nice. <laughs> uh, let's see, recruit heroes, no, but I can recruit another lord. Have you done that yet? I, I can't afford it. Realms, let's see here. Winds of Magic, Power Reserve, plus 15. Melee Attack, plus 4 during for Force Battles. Oh, we have a lot of choices here. Oh, that's a Glade Lord. It's probably pretty legit. This one's Melancholic. This one's got a maimed arm. That doesn't sound good. Magnanimous. Income from all buildings is increased. That sounds legit. Maybe I'll get that one. An Ancient Tree Man. This one's got a maimed leg. This one's honorable. Plus 6 leadership. I think I'm going to go with the Magnanimous. Yeah, I, I've got so many heroes that I don't know that I can afford to, uh, to, to hire on. Like, all these guys take upkeep, I think. Yeah, that's possible. No, no, there's zero upkeep, huh? Okay, oh. well. There you go. That's nice, at least. 
Yeah? But you probably have some pretty elite units. So. I live to yeah, my hammers guy, whatever the heck he is. Alright, up to you, good sir. I believe after your turn, we'll probably break off this first episode, but eh, it's a slow start, but we're we're kind of feeling it out, trying to figure out exactly what it is we need to do. There's a lot of skulls in the mountains. There's another one over to the right. Slightly. If you follow your uh, from your capital city down south, there's a skull there, and if you head west across the... Uh, like almost directly west, there's another skull, another two skulls there. I didn't even you're notice the second. Skull. One. I don't know what you're saying. All right, see your mountain range that's attached yeah. to your capital. Follow it south, uh -huh. and there's a skull in the mountain range. A bird just flew over it. There, a griffin thing. Do you oh. see it? Yeah. And then if you go west from there, almost directly west, there's two skulls in the west mountain range. I only saw one at first. Now there's two there. I'm like, oh. The mountains neat. be death for a mortal like you. Yes. That's why you give the, the clear warning not to trespass on your lands. You have a lot of troops. Do I? You do. Shield of Athelorin. So what is Orion exactly? He's some weird mutated creature. I think he's a ranged hero, which is interesting. Hybrid weapon specialist, force stalker, armor piercing, anti infantry, causes terror. He's got armor leadership, uh, melee attack, he's also got range and missile damage, which is actually a lot higher, almost three times what his uh, melee attack is. So I think he's going to be kind of a big deal. Here's hoping. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need something. I don't know if the elves have a lot of um, siege machines or siege equipment. That was another thing I think your vampires were missing, weren't they? They didn't have yep, any no, real siege. No range. No for range most, no Most of the monster people, like the orcs, don't really have it either, I don't think. The orcs, they do. They have they have um, er error boys is what they call them. And they have, uh, <laughs> they have the greatest siege machine in the entire game, in my opinion. They basically get uh, some orc boys to strap, like, leather wings on themselves, and then they launch them with a catapult. The and then they crash the into things. It's kind so of I'm gonna go fight Turg Beard Taker. <laughs> That's the name of the hero of the Broken Nose. I'm gonna go kill. It's funny. Hey, a non-aggression pact. Who's uh Torg? Somebody another? Oh, that's fine. Yeah, I don't have a problem with you, buddy. I'll sign that. I'll accept that. Yeah, I mean, if any of the dwarfs near you make uh, want to be pe have peace with you, you should go for it. Oh, oh that he's back. Sneaker. He's back. The faction was destroyed. The Jagged Horn tribe was obliterated. Good to know. Uh, also known as the Crone, Morai Heg is the only god in the Elven Pantheon who is neither Kadai or Kaitharai. Boy, I really wish I knew what all this stuff is, but it was a technology I researched. So when are you going to start reading up on all the, uh, and come from buildings, here we go. When are you going to start reading up on all the lore that comes with, uh, Warhammer and all that? I don't I know. know. You devour books and knowledge. Quite a lot. I do, and I read a lot of the Warcraft books back in the day, and then they kind of got a little stale. You know, they got, I feel like they got a little lazy, and I kind of stopped. So I'm not sure Protect how exciting the lore would be on this. I'll probably give it a try right now. I'm currently reading The Expanse Ooh, by James A. Corey. That is not good. That is not a nope. good chance for me to fight that. Oh, I Just, mean, like, I, march around with your little tree people. I feel like I could win the fight, though, maybe. Oh, I don't know. Like it says, Siege we have like it says like we have no chance, but yeah, I think I will. Starve them out. That's fine. We need to end the episode anyway, so maybe I'll starve them out for a little bit, and once they get weakened, then we'll go for it. Yeah, spirit. You know, be be horrible, 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 terrible people, and be fine. Be totally okay. No big deal. All right, good sir. Any final thoughts before we break off the episode? Why does my color have to be purple? Because you like purple. It's like a you're like a giant grape. In fact, your mountain range even kind of looks like grapes, or a very very weird lamp. I've got like a little finger touching the little orange blob country to the bottom it's left like, there. Die orange, die. That's fine. I'm touching you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna we'll do for this. We'll see you next episode when maybe Bumpy actually attacks someone and stops being lazy. I'm I'm a coward. You're being attacked. Okay, I don't want to hear it. I I was holding back for you. <clears throat> that was totally what I was doing. All right, guys and gals, we'll see you next time. Until then, he's Colonel RPG. He's not Colonel RPG. He's Mutant. I'm Bumpy McSquiggums, and we'll see you next time.